So I'm really happy uh, to welcome once again after quite a while, I think it was uh, summer 2009 that he was on the show first, uh, Alban Sauvian, the CEO of uh, uh, interactive music company MXP4. Uh, so hi Alban and thanks for joining me on the show once again. Hi. So basically um, this is a pre medium short interview and I just wanted to ask you about uh, you know what MX before has been up to since we last spoke and uh, talk about your foray into social gaming as well well since the, the last time we discussed I mean MX before was really focusing on you know uh, building interactive uh, remixed tools uh, at this time yeah that's that's a process we started like you know eight, eight, 18 months ago and we had pretty good success you know working with uh, artists such as uh, uh, La Rue, uh, Pet Shop Boys, uh, Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5, Britney Spears, Pink, etc. And we had pretty good results in terms of, you know, engagement, average time spent, you know, online with fly- fans playing with a track. They were spending on average something like 15 minutes, sharing a lot with their friends. And, and we've learned a lot here, you know, by, especially by, you know, embedding these tools within Facebook uh, recently. It was like one year ago where the, the, the traffic, uh, uh, we've seen the traffic booming, you know. Yeah. And then we say, wow, we looked at, you know, all these games on Facebook such as, uh, uh, you know, Zynga games, Farmville, uh, Mafia Wars, Cityville, etc. And basically the conclusion was, okay, what about the music? You know, yeah. where is the music? And because at the same time, if you look at, you know, artist fan pages on Facebook, such as, you know, Lady Gaga and, and the others, there is massive traffic here, you know, sure. uh, uh, fans clicking on like to just follow the, the, the tweets of their preferred artist. And then, and basically the artist fan page are, 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 are built with uh, feeds from the artist and with no application here to drive, you know, engagement, excitement, fun from the with the fans and yeah. basically that's what we've done recently with uh, starting with uh, David Guetta uh, the French DJ artist and uh, a song with uh, Rihanna uh, with that chick and since then we've rolled out this first application with uh, Cherry Cole uh, from Universal UK Adam Lambert um, Duran Duran Nelly Furtado and Enrique Viezas and uh, up to 30 artists that we're going to announce at Midem. And as yeah. far as the results we've seen so far, is that pretty amazing, to be honest. I mean, at Midem, we're going to disclose uh, up to 1 million monthly active users yeah. uh, on this application with uh, amazing engagement time, you know, playing people playing 15 minutes on average per play, per party, you know, and sharing, like, lot with their friends co- competing with friends you know to get a, a better score to to get a, a better ranking and sometimes to meet with you know david Guetta, i mean or at midem or win a signed cd by cherry cole you know yeah it's pretty amazing and that's what we're doing now we've done you know remix tool in the past and now we're fo- focusing on music game yeah we are still using our technology you know and that's some, something again i'm going to discuss at midem during the social music panel with uh, companies such as Buya, you know they've done nightclub city uh with ning which is the music social network from the us and other you know uh, amazing startups yeah and and as you mentioned there's, there's a huge you know opportunity in this space because companies like the zynga they're seeing music almost like a something that they don't need because all the you know they own the intellectual property of all of their games so they, they don't want to bring anything that they have to license into their games but that can be like a mistake because people love to actually have something that they know playing in the background or you know playing with the songs while they are um, doing the game so uh, how do you think you can monetize the use of music within the games we don't need to reinvent the wheel look yeah. at what's happening with uh, you know games such as, you know, uh, Zynga, Playfish, Playdome, etc. And we just need to adapt to the music industry. I mean, I'm not saying it's easy, for yeah. sure. You know, we all know that, you know, dealing with the publisher, the labels, etc. it's not easy, okay? But, you know, here we have a team of people who know how to deal with uh, the, the content industry, dealing with the publisher, the labels. And recently, I don't know whether you've seen the, the latest announcement we've done. I mean, Xavier Louis, uh, the former marketing director for Playfish, yeah. 
uh, Electronic Arts. The, you know, he has joined the team here in, uh, he's based in London, but he has joined the team of uh, MXP4. Yeah. And now he's helping us just, you know, starting to think about the next step in terms of, okay, what could be our first social music game, integrating yeah. the best practices of monetization within the game itself. And that's what we are focusing on right now, based on the success we had with Geta, Cherry Call, etc., etc. And then, you know, again, uh, we are not going to reinvent the wheel, you know, uh, as far as monetization is concerned. Let's look at what's working on Facebook in terms of, you know, this critical mass, you know, millions of active users playing with games for free. Okay, yeah. it's a freemium, it's a freemium mo- uh, business model, uh, as you know. With a limited percentage of people paying, you know, on yeah. a monthly basis, but with very, very nice RPU, as you can see from uh, Zynga, Playfish, and the others. Then that's what we're focusing on right now, and that's what we're going to disclose at Midem. And it's important also that the fact that you know, with a um, something like um, you know the interactive uh, part of MX before that you had, uh, you know, you started with. Uh, people or, and artists were more interested in uh, maybe using, using it as a promotional tool rather than a tool to actually make money. Whilst yeah. with the social gaming, you can actually push on a way to actually pr- generate a meaningful uh, revenue stream for the artists as well. Mm, sure. Uh, that, that's the point, exactly. I mean, um, that, the, the key conclusion we've made on the, the previous remix tools we've done that, oh, okay, it's cool, it's fun, it's engaging with the fan base. Okay, labels were happy. Marketing people, you know, uh, the digital team within the labels, they were happy. But okay, it's engaging, it's fun, but it's a gadget, you know. Yeah. Then yeah. We, we, we managed to, to, to make some, you know, uh, good partnerships with brands such as Coca-Cola, uh, SFR in France, Air France Music, but re- and recently with uh, Diesel Music, you know, for the st- Be Stupid campaign. Yeah. And we managed to, to make some deals with the brands, also with some music portals such as Last FM. Uh, uh, we signed a deal with Last FM. It was back in July last year, and we started, you know, testing some integration with Spotify. Also in September in the UK and France for an artist called Mark Ronson uh, from Sony. Yeah. And again, we had pretty good results in terms of, you know, uh, click-through rates on the ads, and that's what we are currently working on with Spotify too. Yeah. Then, you know, yes, these remixing tools. When it's embedded within an artist fan page, a MySpace page, it's right. Okay, it's fun, it's engaging. We can drive money from you know B two B deal as we've done in the the past. But the most exciting part is how to monetize artist fan pages, music on Facebook, and this yeah. is where the the opportunity is. I, I do believe for the labels, the publishers, and the industry. Well, thanks you very much for your time. And uh, uh, Alban will be speaking at the uh, Opportunities in Social Gaming panel, which is going to be on Monday, uh, the 24th, uh, at Medium in Cannes. So I very much look forward to that. And I'm sure we'll be reporting on that uh, later on next week. Great. And you are more than welcome in an open bar on Sunday night <laughs> <laughs> at 7 p.m. with uh, the usual suspects, you know, SoundCloud. Yeah. Song Kick, uh, Mobile Roddy, Top Spin, and MXP4. Oh yeah, that that, that that's gonna be loads of fun, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> All 